The Ryzen 7 5800X3D is supposedly one of the best gaming processors on the market, but is that 3D on the end just a marketing gimmick to remind you of the superior way of watching movies? Or is there actual truth to it? That was a joke, 3D movies suck. But this 3D does not. The 3D actually refers to a feature that AMD calls 3D vCache, with V standing for vertical, and 3D implying that the cache actually is stacked on the CPU die to make it, you know, three-dimensional. So it's not false advertising, even if technically you could label every processor 3D since our universe does in fact have three dimensions, but let's not get pedantic. Okay, so 3D vCache is CPU cache stacked vertically. But what is CPU cache? Well, it's basically just a small amount of very fast memory, like way faster than your system RAM, that sits on the CPU itself. Modern CPUs move information that is likely to be needed soon into the cache, so by the time they actually need that information, it's sitting right there for them to go ahead and act upon instead of having to wait for it to arrive from system RAM. So it's not hard to figure out that having more cache equals better, but slapping more onto a chip is actually fairly difficult. As transistor sizes have gotten smaller, manufacturing has gotten more difficult and more expensive. It's actually not uncommon for cache to use an older process node than the CPU cores do. So instead of trying to shrink the cache transistors down to cram more of them onto the CPU die, AMD decided to just build up instead and stack several layers of cache on top of each other, hence the name, 3D vCache. But how much does having a cache sandwich in your PC actually make a difference in the programs you use the most? We'll tell you right after we thank Secret Lab for sponsoring this video. Secret Lab chairs are engineered to keep you incredibly comfortable for long hours at work and play. Take, for example, their Titan Evo 2022 chair with its four-way lumbar support, ultra-comfortable line of different seat materials, and more. All their chairs come with up to a five-year extended warranty and a 49-day return policy, so head to the link in the description and check out Secret Lab today. AMD markets the 5800X3D, the only consumer chip featuring 3D vCache at the time we wrote this video, as a gaming powerhouse. And it does turn out that having additional CPU cache makes a significant difference in gaming performance. Having more cache space means that the graphics card doesn't have to wait around as long for data from the CPU. Without that additional cache, your CPU needs to go back and grab data from your RAM more often, which takes time and leaves your CPU frustrated and exhausted, wondering why its creators didn't give it more cash when they dumped it into this cruel world. Indeed, benchmarks have consistently shown performance benefits across the board compared to both AMD and Intel chips that don't utilize vertical cache. And it's not surprising considering just how much more you can add by building vertically instead of horizontally. While the original 5800X contained 32 megabytes of level three cache, the 5800X3D increases that number to a whopping 96 megabytes. <laughs> Wowie zowie. Of course, this kind of cache design comes with its own costs, and we're not talking about the premium you pay for the CPU either. Vertical cache does require extra power and it generates more heat. And although AMD has done a pretty good job mitigating these issues, partly by packing the cache layers as close together as possible, the 5800X3D does not officially support multiplier overclocking as the cache and the CPU cores actually share voltage. So you can't change one without affecting the other. This also means boost clocks are lower than chips with more traditional cache. So while gaming performance is often better depending on exactly which game it is you're playing, other chips with more cores and higher clock speeds are still superior for other tasks. But if you do mostly use your PC for gaming, there's exciting news in that more chips using 3D vCache are on their way as additions to the Ryzen 7000 series. And over in server land, there are AMD Epic chips featuring the technology, since server CPUs have to move so much data that a bigger cache can be beneficial. However, it's yet to be seen whether Intel answers with a similar strategy. Right now, Team Blue seems to be sticking to consistently high boost clocks instead. But you have to admit, there's something elegant about stacking chips like a can of Pringles. Truly a snack for the elite. They're not sponsoring us, why am I? And even though you're not sponsoring us, you kind of are by watching this video. So thanks for watching, like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it, check out our other videos, comment below with video suggestions, and don't forget to subscribe and follow. All of these things make us love you more.